Hi, this is Happy Happy Joy Joy with a video on how to use your Cricut to make many cards at once using the autofill button. So let's get started. I've placed in the bed a sheet eight and a half by 11 where I have laid out the words thanks. This will make six cutouts of thanks in the shape of the scroll. And then we're gonna cut out the pink part of the scroll next. Now, the first most important thing to do is to get your blade in the right position and tell the Cricut what size paper we're dealing with, since it's not the standard 12 by 12. So we are going to go over three and a half, and it tells me in my screen how far over I've gone. So I'm almost there, three and seven fifteenths, three and a half, and then I'm gonna come down one, and I'm going to set my paper size. This is very important to do because this tells the Cricut this is the size of paper I'm dealing with. So when it goes to the second line, it doesn't cut way up here. Believe me, that's happened. Okay, so our scroll is found in the story, on the storybook cartridge, my favorite cartridge, by the way. If you're looking for a cartridge to buy, you're wondering what one to get next, you have to get this one. So let's get started with that. I'm going to start with shift, accent, blackout. Oops, I guess I already had that on, so I'm going to turn, back, turn that back off. Or, I mean, turn it back on. Wait a second. Okay, and then I'm going to hit X. Oh, and miraculously it knew. I'm going to also hit the autofill button. That button fills your sheet with whatever shape you've put in it. On a normal sheet that does not have any words on it, it will automatically calculate and lay out and fit the maximum number that the Cricut perceives it can put on there. So let's go ahead and press cut. Load. Pull my paper out. Voila, ooh, only, only two stuck. That's not too bad. Sometimes it's more. Okay, next step is to load our pink paper. That's gonna be our frame. So I just hit load paper, pretty easy. And then I'm gonna program in my frame, which is going to be shift again. And it's gonna be accent frame. And it's gonna be X. Okay, we're done cutting our pink paper. It does take a while. Okay, just as a review, this is the card we're making. Actually, we can we have enough materials to make 12, and once I show you how to make them, you will be cranking these out. The background paper, which is this guy right here, is from the Die Cuts with a View Spring Stack, glitter, Spring Glitter Stack. I took two 12 by 12 sheets, and I cut them into, I think it's four by five and a quarter. Now, the next thing you really wanna do is go ahead, peel off your frames, and run them through the Xyron. 